We are following breaking news as we come on the air tonight. It was a violent afternoon in the district. Four people were killed in two separate shootings just a few hours apart. Thanks for joining us for News 4 at 6. I'm Drew Wilder. This outbreak of violence started just after 1 o'clock this afternoon on D Street in Southeast, where police are investigating a double homicide. Then, just a few hours later, police responding to Sheriff Road in Northeast for another double homicide. Police in Maryland tonight also responding to a homicide in Temple Hills. We'll have more on that in just a bit, but we want to start tonight with News 4's Mauricio Casillas, who joins us live from D.C. Police Headquarters with the latest on those two double homicides in the district today, Mauricio. Hey there, Drew. Good evening to you. We learned that those four victims are all adult males. At this point, police have not identified any of those victims. We did learn minutes ago at this point that police do have a person of interest in custody in the shooting that took place in southeast D.C. No suspects yet in custody in the other shooting that happened in northeast. Let's go ahead and take you to the video showing you the scene of what things look like in southeast D.C. Police blocked off a portion of D Street as they were investigating. All we know so far is that the shooting happened inside a home and when police arrived they found two men with gunshot wounds who were later pronounced dead at the scene. Police say it does appear that the victims knew the person of interest that's in custody and a weapon was recovered there. As for the other crime, it appears that two men were shot just outside of a small apartment building. They were also pronounced dead at the scene. We're still working to, wor to learn what may have led up to both shootings, but we can tell you at this time that they do not, that police do not believe that these are connected at all. It's also worth noting, no, worth noting, I should say, that after this afternoon's deadly shootings, MPD are now investigating nine different homicides in the district in just the past week. And again, these investigations are still ongoing at this point. So if you have any information that could help police, you're asked to reach out to them. Reporting live outside police headquarters, Mauricio Casillas, News 4.